Have you ever wondered just how much of your conversation ChatGPT really remembers? Let's say you're having a discussion with it about your company's strategy. The conversation goes on and on and on. And at some point you wonder, does this thing really know what we're talking about? Does it remember the initial brief at all? Well, let's ask it and see. What was the first line I said to you during this chat session? We're a SaaS provider focused on landing page designs for businesses. We make it easy for people to build landing pages. If we scan back up, then that's exactly correct. We're a thousand words into the conversation right now. So the good news is that a thousand words, ChatGPT seems to remember things perfectly. But what if we push it further? What happens when the conversation gets to two and a half thousand words? Unfortunately, at two and a half thousand words, things start falling apart. All of a sudden, ChatGPT doesn't have any recollection of where we first started. It's not broken. It's not come to a halt. And it can still keep chatting with me but it just doesn't know what we were first talking about. It looks like it's forgotten the initial brief, but confusingly, the real reason this happens is that it never actually got the initial brief in the first place. You see, ChatGPT isn't just one bit of software. It's actually two separate apps welded together. The first is a chat app, a little bit like WhatsApp, but where you can only talk to an AI. The second is the AI you actually talk to which in this case is either GPT-3 or GPT-4. The chat app remembers every word of every conversation you've ever had. You can tell that because you can go into it and see all of them in there. But the AI who you're speaking to, GPT-3 and GPT-4, well, they're a bit more like you and me. Their short-term memory isn't all that fantastic. In fact, the surprising truth is they don't actually have any short-term memory at all. Think of the AI a bit like Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada. She's met the ambassador before, but she can't remember who he is. So the chat app, or in this case Anne Hathaway, quickly briefs her. So by the time she's shaking his hand, she knows who he is and who he left his wife for. So if the AI is Meryl Streep, then the chat app acts as its aide, Anne Hathaway. The chat app quietly whispers your conversation to the AI before it answers you. But, just like Meryl Streep, it hasn't remembered you it's just been really well briefed. And the chat app does that before every single message you send to the AI. Now the AI can read really, really fast and it can read a lot, several thousand words, but it can't read more than that. So what happens when the conversation gets too long? Well, the chat app trims it down to fit and the part that it trims off is the beginning. The amount of conversation that the AI, in this case, GPT-3 and GPT-4 can read and write at any given time is called their context window. And it's one of the most important things you need to know about if you want to build effective applications in generative AI.